Welcome back. You're still tuned in to NBC for the Daily Roundup. Now, they're young, brilliant, and ready to take on the world or with numbers. Joining us in studio are Roland Njamba and Grace Haufiku, who, of course, earned their places uh, among Africa's and the globe's best mathematical minds. Of course, you are joining us now to tell us more, of course, what they can expect in their trip to Botswana soon. Very good evening to you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Mm. Roland, how are you doing? I'm sort of okay. Sort of okay? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. We'll <laughs> unpack that later. Mm. Um, talk to us about what inspired the both of you actually to, you know, want to compete in maths. Let's start with you, Grace. Uh, you know, math is quite a difficult subject. I, I can test that because I failed math very bad. Really? Uh, what, what, what inspired you to actually take on maths? Um, honestly, for me, um, for the Math Olympiad in general, the yeah. only reason I actually joined was because of my teacher. Yeah. She kind of forced me to join. And <laughs> you didn't want to. I didn't want to join at first, <laughs> but then she forced me and I saw that I actually have the potential of right. going far. And okay. here I am now. Absolutely. How about you, Roland? What really got you stuck to, uh, you know, wanting to do difficult uh, uh, calculations and all? I love math. You love math? That's all I can say. I Why mean, do you love maths, though? I don't know. It's, it's the way that... You can either be right or you mm -hmm. can be wrong, and there's no in-between. Yeah. So what? It's, it's completely objective, and, and I love that. Absolutely. You look like those guys who would challenge the math teacher in class and probably argue against him because you look like you're such a smart guy. Is that that? I, I normally do. <laughs> is the thing All right. Talk to us about you know, what you're most excited about when thinking of going to Botswana or Australia later in July. The networking, mm -hmm. basically, like, I mean, there are different mathematical minds out there yeah. and I have the opportunity um, to meet them and socialize with them. Mm -hmm. So that's the highlight of, that's the highlight of the moment to me. Absolutely. That's yeah. very good. That's a good point. How about you, Grace? What, do, what are you most excited about, you know, apart from networking? I'm excited to learn mm -hmm. new stuff from different people yeah. and obviously make friends is, you know, that's a standard procedure. Yeah. Making new friends, learning a lot from them. And just traveling, because I've been in Namibia for the longest now. No, no, you're tired of it. Exactly. Please make sure you come back, okay? I will. Yeah. All right. Now, let's talk about, you know, how you guys actually get to prepare for this. I'm sure this is the stage where you guys are busy preparing. You guys are leaving tomorrow, right? Yeah. Let's pre the preparation for the Olympiad. And, of course, what also is the most challenging part of all of, of this journey? What would you say is it, uh, of course, preparing for Botswana and Australia? Um, preparing, we we like attended various um, boot camps yeah. to equip us fully to make sure that we actually understand the concepts and yeah. But like the most challenging for, thing for me personally would be juggling between my schoolwork and then the Meth Olympiad itself because yeah. now it's it's quite difficult to you know balance the two you know mm -hmm. like considering that you also have exams to write right. and then like there's the math olympiad coming up and you're just like what do i do mm. but then you know we find a way to kind of balance things out properly and yeah it works out absolutely i want to hear your take uh, uh, roland of course when it comes to balancing between um you know the current exams that you are writing as well as well as you know uh, tomorrow's trip how is that going like for you i really have problems since on, on the one hand it's math I love math All right. on the other hand it's education and I am a nerd so I do I do love learning and all that mm -hmm. so absolutely it's the best now, of both worlds and, and, and Roland you know it's going to be a big opportunity this you know um, you're going to represent Namibia the whole country to you and the whole group how does that make you feel to represent the country you know on an international stage I feel so special, yeah. like out of the hundreds of thousands of, of teenagers out there in the country, yeah. I was chosen. And this is a golden opportunity for me. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Grace, you are going to be you know, competing against students from Australia, but now, of, of course, tomorrow, Botswana. Um, how does that make you feel you know, as a Namibian who's going to be representing Namibia and also competing against uh, international students? It's quite an honor to be representing my country abroad because, like, who would have thought that Grace would actually be there? Like, I honestly <laughs> thought I was going to stop, like, at school level. But then, I don't know, all of a sudden I'm seeing, okay, I'm going to represent yeah. my country abroad. And it, it brings me joy and excitement that I'm actually going far with yeah. something I thought I wasn't going to go far with. Mm -hmm. And you're coming from Okahanja Senior Secondary School. Um, 
quite, quite excited because I'm also from there and to see one of us actually growing to that stage is quite good. But talk to us about how you train for these kind of competitions. You know, do you do it as a group or how do you exactly do it? Um, when we attend the boot camps, we obviously do it as groups, but yeah. most of the time it's obviously like alone mm -hmm. because like we're not together all the time. The only time we actually get to get together is during the boot camps and Roland over here would be helping us, you know, because he's more experienced. Mm. He would be helping us, like there would be questions he'd give us, force us to read mel like many, many, many books and we don't actually read them sometimes, but... <laughs> Yeah. But it must be fun, is it not? It is fun when he's shouting at us. <laughs> Roland, you have to come in here. Um, you, you, you are, of course, experienced. This is not the first time that you're traveling. Uh, how has the experience been like, of course, having competed uh, in those kind of competitions before? Well, I did go last year, and last year was yeah. very fun and, and exciting. Yeah. I do acknowledge that some of my teammates might have been nervous, mm -hmm. but I was like, new country, New culture, new people. What's that um, I'm to be shy about? Yeah. And besides, it's meth. And I love meth. <laughs> I am a man. I wish at your age I could say the same, Roland, you know. But w w how do you actually keep your, your, your teammates then inspired and motivated and actually calm, you know, for, for competitions like this? Because, like you said, a big stage like this could be nerve-wracking, right? But how do you keep them actually calm and motivated? Well, most of the time I put on a forefront in, in front of them. I, I tell them I'm to be calm. And, and of course, I can't tell them, guys, I'm relaxed while I'm there sweating and breaking out. Yeah. So I, I normally practice being chill mm. about things. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Grace, lastly and in short, what is your message to the Namibians? Is of course, going to uh, represent us on a big level, uh, such as uh, the Olympia taking place in Obudin, Botswana. My message to everybody is that do not be afraid to take on any challenge. You don't know how far you can go. So... Just do it. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. Definitely. You can do it. Your message in short, uh, Roland. Don't see math as a as a challenge or a problem or a hard subject or a hard problem or, mm. or 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 something that you're just not good at. You're handicapping it. Math is a beautiful and exciting journey that tells you the language of the world. And once you tr truly see it for what it is, it's going to become enjoyable for you. Absolutely. You guys, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Safe flights tomorrow. I can't wait to have you guys back and, of course, tell us all about how Botswana was. And before that, actually, yeah. we do know that, okay, we made it here. We're the learners, but the, there were driving forces behind us and, and the organizations. Mm -hmm. And the most important one was the National Commission on Research, Science and, Te and Technology, NCRST. Mm -hmm. These guys are the ones that hosted the NMO. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that hosted our training camps. Yeah. And most of um, the time, I was not scared being taken from Balvas Bay and, and, and driven to Rundu because yeah. I trusted them. They made me feel at home when I wasn't at my house. Yeah. And after that, we realized that our dream would have stayed a dream yeah. if it wouldn't have been for for De Marine, our Absolutely. main sponsors. Yeah. They have su um, supported us in a major way. Mm. And not just that, but our other sp sponsors, Old Mutual, Namport, and Global Talent. Absolutely. We'd like to thank all these organizations for helping us in math. Absolutely. Really great work from them. Thank you so much once again, uh, guys. And of course, we wish you all the best. Thank you so much for being here. Thank okay. you for having us. Absolutely. Because uh, I was talking to Roland and Jamba as well as Grace Haufik, who are, are going to be representing Namibia at the, of course, at a continental Olymp mathematical Olympia that's taking place uh, in Botswana. As well as later on in July, they will be representing Namibia again, uh, of course, on an international level at a Olympia that's taking place uh, in, that is, Australia. Of course, now we bring you more conversations right after a short break. Do stay with us.